right, okay, so when coming to sterilised bottles, obviously there's lots of different options with regards to sterilisers on the market. So you've obviously got your steam sterilisers, your microwave sterilisers, and your cold water sterilisers. Um, we're using steam today, so just um, always follow your the manufacturer's instructions. So always keep your instructions um, with your sterilizer because you never know who's going to use it and there are sometimes just those little things that you need to double check so one of them is how much water that you put into the base of the sterilizer so great way to do it is um, obviously follow the instructions in the manufacturer's instructions um, and then fill up the bottle to what it says it needs you pour that into the base of the sterilizer. You then want to put the top over. You're then putting the bottles and always making sure the bottles are going down so that the steam is coming up and going into the bottle. You're then gonna put the top. And what you want to make sure is with the teat, the ring and the lid, always make sure they're all apart so that the steam can get to all parts um, of the top of the bottle. And so you want to place them into the sterilizer so that the steam can get to all aspects. And then you pop on your lid. Again, your instructions normally will tell you um, the best way to stack it to get all the bottles that you need into it. And then um, again, they're all very different on the length of time that they take. Once it's a completely sealed unit, you have all of the aspects of your bottles into the sterilizer. If your sterilizer comes with some tongs to be able to pull the teats through, make sure that they're in the sterilizer as well. Keep them in there all the time and then you can use them when you're making up the bottles once the sterilizer has finished. Turn it on and then just wait.